Hello, welcome back. Two videos in one day, which I've never done before, I don't think. Um, but I'm working through all of the stuff in 3.2 for the force and figuring everything out. And I'm really excited about this thing. That I've just learned how it works. So when they made the announcement about 3.2, one of the things they mentioned was automation snapshots. But they didn't really explain what it was. And when you even look in the release notes, it doesn't really um, explain very well what that is or what it does. I was hoping it was going to be something like lock states on the uh, machine, which basically allows you to, to take a snapshot of the state of a pattern or a part or something, or basically the whole machine state, really. And then twiddle things and then press a button to return back to that um, saved snapshot. Um, which is absolutely brilliant for performing and tweaking live. And that indeed is what this does. And it works by scene. I hope you don't mind. I have, I'm using the same project that I did the uh, probability video on, but I just want to show you how this works. Hopefully it will clarify for a few people. Certainly took me a while to figure it out. So basically, if I press play now, this is what's going on in this project. Um, and everything within this uh, uh, this uh, scene here or this row can be grabbed as a snapshot by pressing edit and hitting the launch button. And you see we've got this take snapshot button. So I've pressed that and what the force has now done is it's basically recorded the state of a bunch of different parameters in this, um, in this scene. Now, if I press play and I tweak a load of stuff, I can do whatever I want. When I relaunch this scene, it will relaunch the scene with the save snapshot. So all of the changes I will make, I have made, will go away. So we can um, illustrate that really easily. So we'll launch it now. We'll turn all the volumes down. And then we'll relaunch the pattern. And it's going around in its four bar loop. Bosh, everything comes back. It also works with mutes. Relaunch it, we'll go around this loop. I caught it just at the end of the four bars here. We can do things like, where are we? Let's solo, actually that's not gonna work, is it? Uh, let's go to our bass track, edit the bass track. Turn the filter cut off, that sounds horrendous. And it jumps straight back. So you can see, um, basically, if you're playing live and you want to do a tweaking session in the middle, edit, launch, take snapshot. Now you can obviously, if you've updated things and you want to update the snapshot, you do it again. If you want to clear the snapshot, you can do that from this screen as well. But it basically means that if you're making a performance and you want to have a tweak or you want to mess around or solo or just show, like uh, if, you've, if you're an Electron user, there's the function where you can press everything, twiddle all the things, and then revert back to that saved state. So it's exactly like the uh, saved state on the Electron boxes. It's like scenes on a uh, machine. All you need to do to use it is press edit and launch, save the snapshot of where you are now, edit, do all of your stuff, and then relaunch the scene. Whenever you do that, it will revert back. So it's a brilliant improvisation tool. I'm really excited about that for, for performances and the videos that I make. I was really hoping they did something like this, and I was hoping that this uh, automation snapshot is what I expect, expected it to be, and this is absolutely fantastic. I don't know why Akai don't explain themselves better sometimes, uh, because if I had known what this was, I would have been downloading it you know the second it came out anyway i hope that was useful um this has been a great update this and the probability is really taking things up a notch for me i'm really enjoying it and i hope you are too and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye